All right, you guys, so I was looking at this photo of this cute little bunny rabbit in the snow, and it just inspired me to do, um, since we were doing charcoal and chalk, to do these bunny rabbits in the snow. Um, so what you're gonna get is a little blue paper, light blue, last time we used dark blue, with this shape right here on it, and that is for the rabbit's nose. Just checking to make sure you can see it, yep, okay? And then um, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to draw it, and then we're going to outline it and then start shading it in like we did with the snowman last week, okay? So first we wanna add one of the ears, and this is gonna be the ear that's most visible. So you're gonna draw like the inside of the ear like this, and I don't know if you guys can see that very well. It's hard for me to tell. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline all of this so you can see it, okay? So now, we're going to finish off this top ear with just a little line like this. And this is going to be like the inside of the ear, it's going to be like the outside of the ear. And we'll finish off that other ear um, once we do the back of the body. Alright, so now you want to do a bump like this for the back of the body. And then we'll do the other side of the ear. And then we'll do a front bump here. This is like the jaw of the bunny rabbit here. And then I'm going to say, let's go ahead and draw our snow down here. And you don't want your snow to be in a straight line anyway. So if these two lines are a little bit off, that's okay. There's my snow. Right here in the picture, there's a little like shadow where the front legs and the front body meet the back legs and the back body. And then I did a little bit of a tail right here. You couldn't really see one in the picture, but I just liked it, okay? Now the next thing we need to do is add the eye. What I like to do for the eye is draw a circle, and then kind of a line around it, and then the nose, and you can add the little bunny mouth if you want to, okay? And now we're gonna be done with adding um, details, the drawing details, so you can, if you um, are ready, you can go ahead and try some Sharpie. So hit pause and then come back when you're ready to start coloring. All right, so if you're back, then that must mean you're ready to start adding our um, chalk and our charcoal. So here's my chalk and we're gonna start with that. I'm gonna say let's start with the bunny because if we start here and then move here, we're gonna be smearing it. So we may as well just start with the bunny. And what I did first was kind of like when we did our snowmen last week. I did a layer of just color. And I'm ordering light blue art paper for you guys. And last week you had light blue uh, or dark blue art paper for the snowmen. So yours might end up looking a little bit nicer than mine. Because mine's on just construction paper. Okay, when I do the ear, see how I'm being really careful to stay in there? All right, and now I'm gonna come through and sh just kind of blend with my finger, right? Just blending with your finger. I kind of like it because of the texture it gives it too. It makes it look a little hairy like a real bunny, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and come through and shade my bunny with my charcoal. Okay, so here's my charcoal. And what you wanna do, is just put in some shadows where there would be some shadows. We're just defining different um, forms on the rabbit. So we're gonna put a shadow right there on the back of the ear where they overlap. We're gonna put a shadow right here, a shadow on the underneath there between the legs, a shadow up there. So we're just gonna be adding, we're gonna work on the eye and the nose. We're just gonna be working on some shadows, okay? So I'm gonna start on the back of the rabbit and do an easy one and just do a little bit of a shadow there. And then you can also take your finger and blend it a little bit, okay? Do a little bit of a shadow on the tail, and then blend. A little bit of a shadow underneath here, and then blend it out. We're gonna add a shadow here, and a 
and blend it. Shadow here and blend. I'm going to do a little bit there even though I didn't in this picture. Okay. So there are your shadows on your bunny. Work on those and then come back and we'll do the eye and the snow. Okay, now that we're back, I'm going to do the eye, I'm going to do the nose, I'm going to add a little bit of a mouth here, okay? And then we're going to come back and do the snow, and the snow is going to be kind of like how we did the bunny. I'm going to do this. Come back and do some shading right here along this. Just a little bit of shading, nothing too crazy. Okay. If you want to, you can also come back with the white. If you've lost some of your white in some areas, I think you could add some back in for like a highlight kind of effect. If you want something to be a little bit whiter. And what's around it. Okay. All right. So now that we're done with that, we are ready to work on this background. Now, if you want to, you absolutely can just put snowflakes around the rabbit. That's what was in the picture. If you remember, there were just snow falling. Okay. But I did some trees back there. So I'm going to show you how to do the trees. We did the snow last week. If you prefer to do the snow, it's going to look really lovely. You can do snow around your rabbit. Okay. If you want to do some of these trees, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. So step one for the trees is you're just going to make the tree trunk. Up and down like sticks sticking right up out of the ground. And these are gonna be meant to be like birch trees. These are the tree trunks. Notice how I'm filling in as I go. That one got a little white on me. So guess what, I'm just gonna make it whiter, okay? And now looking at these three, I kinda of feel like these two are a little bit too skinny. So I'm going to come back and add a little width to them. Okay, there you go. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our charcoal and we're going to outline them. And birch trees have these little black areas um, in them, so we're going to do scribbles for those. So I'm going to outline it. Okay, already looking good, right? And add a couple of branches up here close to the top. They do sometimes have these little wispy branches. And then what you're going to do are these little controlled scribbles on the sides. Okay, I just did three. So let me show you that again. I'm going to outline it. Add a couple of branches to the top. Do a couple of scribbles. How's that looking? You guys like it? Okay, let's do it again. Outline it. Let's draw a couple of branches. Do a few little scribbles. So now we just have two left. Outline. A couple of branches. scribbles. Outline, branches, scribbles. Okay, now if you still want to after doing that, you could come back and do the snow then too. I'm just 
just doing little like dots for snow, but we did snow last week, so you can do whatever you want to. Notice how I'm kind of turning my paper so I can get at it from different angles. So I'm not constantly running my hand across it. Okay, and there's your bunny in the snow. Oh, I love these, you guys. All right, we'll see you next week.